And they're racing to an absolutely level beginning. And Ren is the one who's going to set the early fractions. Then there is a whole bunch of them together, including this uh, knee loss is, is that early, but he's just taken back a little bit. Corsi is prominent as well. Towards the outside, that one is vividly. Rapunzel's dream towards the rear. The spoiled child is towards the back end as well. As they come past the stands now for the first time, the Jeff's got just over a circuit to go. And the opening quarter was 25 and 3. And it is in front Rene from Corsi. Nilos is on the inside third. Then to caught four wide is the spoiled child between horses is vividly and Rapunzel's dream. As they head off down the back stretch, uh, Rapunzel's dream just swoops right through to join Rene for the lead. So it's Rene from Rapunzel's dream from vividly. Then on the outside, the spoiled child is next. Then Corsi. Rapunzel's Dream is next, and Nilos is the back marker, the half, 51 and 3. They're on the far turn, head up the hill towards the departure point. And it is still on the inside, Rene, but he's just going to be pressed now by Vividly, who goes on a bit, about three parts of a length up on him. There's a break of two lengths to the spoiled child, Rapunzel's Dream, Nilos. Corsi has had enough, 6 and 1, 16 and 4, as they come inside a quarter pole. And vividly has opened up daylight to Nilos on the outside. Rapunzel's dream is next. The spoiled child between horses. And there are no more turns. And vividly has opened up by four, by five. He's just going to romp home. Vividly just drawing off to Wayne. Close your butts. Class dismissed. Go on home. Vividly in front. Rapunzel's dream was second, Nilos third, the spoiled child, and the last one home was Rene. The winner stopped the clock in 153 and 4. In a moment, recap for you.